This is a case of a 48-year-old male patient who performed a, a ERCP 24 hours ago and presented with a significant ab abdominal pain, vomiting, tenderness in the upper abdomen and deranged LFTs. And a CT scan was done to rule out perforation. So let's see the images. Here is the stomach. It is quite dilated and let's go down to see the duodenum. This is the right colonic curvature. This is the duodenum and here is the pancreatic head. We use this, this window settings and we can see that there is extra luminal gas in several sites here free air in the abdomen extra luminal gas so this is a perforation let's see again the duodenum which shows irregular wall thickening neural edema and as you can see there is significant fat stranding with some traces of fluid you see that there is blurring of the fat tissue around the duodenum comparing to the rest of the abdomen another interesting point is that the duodenum is inseparable from the adjacent right colonic curvature because there are some secondary inflammatory changes in the colonic wall as well. Edematous mural thickening and uh, some fat stranding in the right colonic curvature as well. So this is a typical case of uh, post ERCP duodenal perforation. Another interesting point is that there is a chronic diverticulum in the duodenum. Here it is. So I will scroll the images up and down to see the, the finding again. Here is the stomach. Okay, and let's concentrate around the duodenum where perforation was found. The gas bubbles here, free air in the abdomen, extra luminal gas. This is the third part of the duodenum. And here is the extra luminal gas between the second and the third part of the duodenum. Fat stranding traces of fluid and secondary inflammatory changes in the right colonic curvature. I will show you the previous image. This is a previous image three years ago. There was a cholecystitis, as you can see, uh, associated with cholelithiasis. Fat stranding again. Here is the stomach. Here is the duodenum and here is the uh, chronic diverticulum, a small diverticulum in the duodenum. The duodenum goes down, here is the pancreatic head, the right colonic curvature, duodenum third part of the duodenum, second part here, where my arrow is, here, it looks okay. Now let's go back to our case again. Here is the perforated uh, duodenum. In coronal views now, here is the stomach, which is moderately dilated. And here is the Pyloric antrum and duodenum.
Here is the third part of the duodenum and the second part of the duodenum with the extra luminal gas. Here and there in multiple areas. Um, so, dear friends, thank you for watching. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel. So, see you the next time.